Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be going over the wavetable editor in Serum. We're going to be starting out with our init preset here, which is a saw wave, uh, which sounds pretty good, uh, but we can edit that. We're going to go into this little pencil crayon thing here. And uh, here is the edit page. Um, and here is our saw. So we can, uh, how we draw in wavetables is, is based on the grid. We have an 8x8 eight eight grid. Um, we have frequency content over time and then amplitude content over time. And you'll see that, you know, we effectively changed a saw to a square, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can do quite a bit more. So let's uh, turn the grid to zero, the, the amplitude grid, and the frequency grid to zero, volt zero. And from here, we can draw in this sort of thing, which is, oops, cool. We could draw pretty much anything, really. Uh, we can also kind of have more of a grid. So say if we want to, yeah, let's just have this set at one, have this set at one. If we want a ramp saw, we can make a perfect shape like that, down saw, like that, sign, or we can just select a formula and hit sign. Um, we can have like a rectified sign type of thing going on here. Um, or the opposite, different shapes. We can have it curved, which is, this is kind of like a sinusoidal kind of saw. Uh, we can add noise. Oops, we have to set that to zero. We can add different amounts of noise by dragging it along, just to add a bit more. Stuff like that, which is pretty nice. Right, we can, you know, also enter in formulas. I'm not a mathematician guy, but whatever. We'll add a we'll add a saw. Okay, so this is like a basic saw, and how Serum works is you. It's a wavetable synth, so you can ha you can uh, have multiple wavetables on a single oscillator. So we have one wavetable, which is our saw here. We have one currently. Let's add another one. And when you select this, you add another frame. So we have two frames. We can select that. We'll turn this one to, oops, we'll turn this one to a square or whatever passes as a square. So we have a square here. So we have square, square, and saw, right? And we have that. When we close this, we have this in our window. So how do we go from frame one, which is a saw, to frame two, which is a square? So we can do that. But we can also go to our wavetable position, and we have wavetable wave position one, and then two. Right. So we have two frame, we have a two frame wavetable. We can actually go in and morph between these two. And uh, what this does, is we will will is there's crossfade. Usually you should be using uh, a spectral, and that will create a very nice kind of a crossfade. You notice down here that this went from two to two fifty six. So we have two hundred and fifty six frames now, and we can see that in here we can morph. That's pretty weird. Let's go back. <laughs> I think I did that in a backwards way, but we can we can fix that. So we'll just change that up. Morph, spectral. There. Kind of like that. And this is <laughs> the rare, the rare time that uh, crossfade would be a lot more appropriate to go from a saw to a square. All right, so with that, we have the ability to go from a saw to a square and back. And if you click on this, you can see that it morphs in between. 
is pretty neat. So say, let's do something else. Let's go, I want to copy and then let's go, let's, oops, let's add, let's add a, yeah, let's add another, oops. Let's init all. Let's add three frames. So we'll have one, one of a saw this way. And we'll have the other one, the third one, as a sign. Right? So we close this, we'll go between each. So we have saw, uh, square, and sign. What we can do now is we can morph, we can cross cross fade, and now we're cross fading in between all of them. Right, and that's basically the wavetable editor. Okay, so let's jump into some interesting stuff. So what we can do is we can just draw in something crazy. We'll set the grid size to zero. I want this to be a little warm. Right, so we have that, and I want this one to be a sign. So I have that, and then I will morph that uh, spectrally, and then I'll have my wavetable position set to about this. Right, and you could see how you know you can kind of morph around and do some lots of crazy stuff. So, say if we had that map to an LFO, right, we have effectively a wobble. I will go, oops in it, go here. And I'm gonna show you uh, another trick. So say if you draw in something just whacktastic, what you can do is you can import this into an FFT by clicking this arrow, arrow right here. And uh, you'll see all these bins popping up. So what these are, these are harmonics. So what FFT is, is it basically, a million years ago, someone discovered <laughs> that uh, if you take, you can take any sound and you can make basically any sound using a bunch of sine waves with different phases. So you have this top part here are your sine waves, and down here is the phase of them. So what I should do, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to init and I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna start, instead of drawing it in here, I'll draw it in via, uh, I guess I'll set it to sign, bring that up here. So this is a sine wave. This is a single harmonic, right? And you'll notice that this is only one bin is drawn in. And this is the, this is basically how you make a sign really easily in Serum is you just go to this bin, pop it up here, and this is the fundamental. Right, so how you can add more sounds is by adding more sine waves and more harmonics. So you can add it to these bins. The, the bins that are light gray are harmonics and the ones that are darker are inharmonics. So you can add a bunch of stuff and with this bin below it is you can adjust the phase. So I'll give you an example of that. Well, actually, I'll give you one. So th this is how you adjust the phase of that. So let me let me draw on something crazy again. So you're you're drawing in a shape, and it's pretty cool, right? And you want 
to get a fundamental going on. So what you do is you'll click wave to FFT. You see that, and this is your fundamental uh, your fundamental uh, bin up here. So you can take away the fundamental, or you can add it more in. Effectively adding more of a low end um, in contrast to whatever else you have here. Um, so what you can do now, I don't know how many times I've said that, you can go to spectral in your preset menu or anything really, and we'll go into uh, to importing wavetables at a later date, um, is you'll click on something and it'll load, and this is what a very complex uh, wavetable looks like. And this is made with uh, two, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve wavetables, but they're you morph in between all of them. And uh, this is what it looks like when you morph in between all of them. So you get this. <laughs> You have that. That's pretty freaking cool, if you ask me. There's some math going on. Um, and, uh, yeah. So before I go, I want to show you one more trick. One more trick is, okay, so, you know, it's all well and good to draw on wavetables like that. You have your grid on. Uh, make sure that they're, like, multiples of two. So, you know, you'd have this set to two, and then you'd have square wave and... Let's make a perfect square wave, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but there's another thing you can do is you can say, if you're comfortable, you can draw your wave shape in here, in this, and this is how you make sure that it's a perfect cycle. If you just leave these, so we'll have that, we'll have that, like that. And then uh, we'll just have that in a weird shape. What you do is you hit Alt, and then you drag that in. Oops. And you'll notice, here, I'll, I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you that again. I'll just pick a different one. Hit Alt, drag that into this window, and then there you have this one right here. And this is another way to uh, draw on wavetables. Um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, you have the ability to sort by peak, uh, and you can export or import uh, by drag and dropping. We're going to be doing that later. Uh, and then you can uh, process and uh, add singles and all that stuff. You can even init, which is silence. Anyway, I uh, hope you learned at least something. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not too familiar with uh, FFT. Um, but I can kind of, you know, it's, it's, it gets more interesting when you drag, uh, sounds in and import them. It, you can do some really wacky stuff, which I will show later. Anyway, uh, take care and.